Hey everyone, it's Alejandro from Lodo Plays, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Now in 2017. And yes, let's just get all of this out of the way right now. It's been over a year since I last uploaded, I would say. And I have not played any Fallout 4 in a long time, or at least done uh, anything with the channel, obviously. I mean, if you were watching. But... I kind of wanted to explain my absence just a little bit before we get into the game here, because I don't want to have to make a whole update video, you know, where you see like, where have I been? Channel update. This is the channel update, okay? And if people don't watch this, then it's, yeah, it's not a big deal. Anyways, let's start from the top. So, uh, one of the last videos I made was my, um, what was it? The YouTube subscriber tag. And in that video, I said I enjoyed doing YouTube which was true, and I said I want to keep doing what I was doing, which was true. But there was a part that I, I mean, there's a lot of things that happened overall. Um, got new roommates, uh, didn't really go over so well. Um, let's see, I had, uh, some issues with where I recorded, and I had to move all my recording equipment and everything. And I'll touch on this in a second, but there was a problem with my Fallout 4 save. As you can see, as I look at him in a completely different area, as you see Raylan here, just spent the last year with his new sexual partner, this mannequin. Actually, that's not what happened, but I'll get into that in a second. Anyways, so another one of the big things is I just got tired of the YouTube grind. Not that I, I you know, just the editing and, you know, making sure, you know, you put everything out there and, you know, trying to make sure people see the videos and, you know, I don't know. It, it just starts to get tiring, especially if you have... You know, have to work on your videos, you have to edit your videos, and these Fallout 4 videos take a lot of editing down. And especially if you have other life responsibilities, it just, it was hard to juggle all of that at once. There's so many other things, and I know it's going to sound like bullshit where it's like, oh, well, you know, you just, uh, you just got bored, you didn't want to do that. No, I, honestly, I missed this, I really did. I missed playing it, but just so many other things were happening that I never got around to it, and I never really explained it, which, again, that's my bad, but... I'm here, and I'm back now, and I know it's been like a year, so I'm probably gonna have like no viewers, but I always planned on coming back to this, because I never like to let anything go undone, and even if I have like no viewers, I'm going to finish this and Sleeping Dogs, and beyond that, I don't know, but I'll have to see. Anyways, back to Fallout 4, um, <laughs> in the last episode, I, uh, Actually, I had to rewatch some of my old episodes because it had been so long. And which, by the way, I found out a few things by going back through my old episodes because I never watched them on YouTube before. I usually watched them when I was editing and rendering, and I didn't notice. But there was a few audio uh, crackles I noticed, and I think it was because I had my gain set on my volume a little bit differently. So let me know if it's better in this video. But another one of the things that I noticed was um the audio and the visuals were desync sometimes. And sometimes I'd have to rewind or pause to get to go back to normal. And I think the reason for that is, and we'll have to see as this is a test for the next video. Um, when I had, was doing Shovel Knight, that was a 60 frames per second game, and I had set all my recordings automatically to go to 60 frames per second, thinking nothing of it, and forgetting that something like Fallout 3 is only in 30 frames. So I assume upscaling it to the 60 frames, which is what it did for when it went on YouTube, was the issue that I was having. So from now on, the Fallout 4 videos and I think Sleeping Dogs as well, are going to be in 30 frames per second, because they are actually on 30 frames per second, and I should have realized that when I was uploading them. But, yes, that's me watching my old Fallout video. So now, let's get on to what happened last time. I was going to come and do something for the railroad, got to go to Outpost Zamanja to clear a base because I needed something special from them, and I was going to go to the Parson State Asylum. Thing is, I'm at the Parson State Asylum. I'm actually kind of well in this dungeon, I'd say I'm near the end, if I remember correctly. And the thing is, I had some of it recorded, but I had an issue with my recording, and usually I have a backup save. And me being a dummy, I totally messed up my backup save as well and accidentally overrode it. So, as you're seeing this character right now, I have done Outpost of Manja, and there was nothing special about that. Let me just uh, show it on the map. Uh, it was right here. I made it a safe house. I just cleared it out and built some defenses. Nothing too interesting. The only interesting thing there was uh, a skill magazine, I think, that gives you plus 5% damage at night, which is nice. And uh, there was a special guy called Boomer who was in power and he had a mini nuke, and he was pretty scary. But I got through that alright, obviously. And 
what else? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I did this. I, uh, did Lynn Woods. I dropped a save there at one point and cleared it out. I didn't, I know that Lynn Woods was supposed to have a Deathclaw, like, thing that you can activate. I never did that because no. And I have gone through most of Parson State, State Asylum, which, to bring you up to speed on it, you're with Jack Cabot here. We're going through the asylum. We're seeing all these juiced up raiders who have probably been taking the serum from Lorenzo, who was the Jack's father, if you forgot, and who's got obsessed by like a weird alien artifact, and they're trying to free him. And we saw Edward. Edward was hurt pretty bad. Wait, have we done that? You know what? We'll find out in a second. But let's just say, spoilers if it's happened or not, Edward got hurt pretty bad. We picked up the charisma bobblehead for an extra charisma, which was right near Edward. But Edward's fine, uh, so now me and Jack are running towards the basement to stop Lorenzo and the raiders from breaking Lorenzo out. So I think that about covers everything. No, wait, I almost forgot. This popped up as well. Uh, listen to the Nuka Cola Family Radio. Now this is, since I last played, Nuka World was released as a DLC, the final DLC for Fallout 4. So I guess we might as well just play it right now. Let's just get it all out of the way. You, you gonna play? Oh, there it goes. Hiya, kids. Remember, Nuka World is only open for a few more weeks in October. Come down and see me and Captain. Oh, there's Jack. Last time before buckling down for the winter. Don't forget to bring your empty bottle of Nuka Cola to get fifteen dollars off at the gate. So hop aboard the Nuka Express and come and see the whole Nuka world. Got it. The Nuka Express is accessible through the Nuka world. The elevator, the elevator is still is working. Still Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Okay, let's uh, out of the way. Let's just turn off the radio before it. Yep, repeats just like I was gonna do. This will take us to the basement. So that's another one of the DLCs I am definitely gonna get to. I still haven't played any of the DLCs, by the way, because I want to do it on my uh, survival playthrough with Raylan. Because over here, this guy is fun as hell to play as. I'm, it has been a amazing playthrough to do this, and I, I'm just kind of annoyed that it took me so let's long go. to get back to it, honestly. But let's not dwell on that, and let's just focus on the game right now. So, we're going to go down and stop Lorenzo. Going down. Oh, let me get some healing. Okay, now we're in the basement, and we're almost done with this. Uh, Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Yeah, okay, I can do that. And, okay, is there anything else good in here? No, I don't think so. So, I gonna have to be very careful because it's been a long time since I played and I'm probably very very rusty what's the ooh the discovering something amazing music is going on but it's just junk I mean that's where we're supposed to go over there and oh felt that lunchbox with the is that did I just grab that on accident a fork ah oh, whatever those idiots are trying to shut down the abremlin that's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there Need to get in there and stop them. Yeah, Hello, all right. Jack. Oh, you gotta talk to us. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. Ooh, nice one. Lock down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. Okay, I remember this being a little bit tricky, but the yes, <laughs> listening to Lorenzo, he definitely sounds like a supervillain. So, unfortunately, I'm not siding with Lorenzo, and I'll get to some of the perks and reasons why you should or why you shouldn't in a second. My son is quite capable of stopping you if he gets in here. And I am very capable of stopping. Him. That's right. But I remember that at least one of these raiders was pretty tough. And it's been so long that I, I'm kind of worried. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I feel like they should have done more. It's been so long. I don't know. Oh god. Oh god. I can feel the strength returning. Back up 
Ooh, lefty. Okay, wait, let me... Oh, I forgot about this. I had the, uh... What is this, cloaking or chameleon? Chameleon? Whatever. Let's uh, switch to a better weapon now. So, bad story is I can't switch to a weapon because... If you look at that, the pit boy I even stood up out of uh, sneak mode, and it's invisible. So I'm getting rid of this armor. I forgot how aw how absolute awful this was, that this cloaking effect. But let's see if I can actually live through this. All right, my last quantum, but I think this is gonna make it work. And I've also equipped my plasma shoddy because I remember how much of a beast this thing was. Slow time. All right, one oh. Well. If this is it, it was a good first attempt. No, wait, I'm, <laughs> I'm fast as fuck right now because it's slow motion. All right, let's get lefty down. God, he is tanky. Oops, did not mean to reload. That's what happens when you haven't played in a long time. Oh, damn, he's crippled my arm. That's fine. This is making quick work of him. Oh, get around the corner. Okay, yes, I'm parched. I know it's been a while, but I remember how all this survival mode stuff works. Let's grind up a critical on this guy. Well, at least more. Uh, yeah, let's go for the arm. Nope. That was... It was 77% chance. Come on. Wow, whatever. This is the last guy, so... Whew. <laughs> Okay, that was hairier than I would have liked, but I totally did it first try. Don't listen to my oh, hold on. Let's listen he to this. the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four of Remelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Hurry. His powers are returning. <laughs> okay, well, I'm deciding that, obviously, since I'm still role-playing, I feel like Raylan would probably realize that Lorenzo is pretty dangerous, and he is, in a sense, Please, if I, some of the terminals in this, um, uh, in this asylum had kind of hinted that he basically went on a murder spree around, uh, back when he was free in, like, the 1800s, because he's, like, super old, and... It's because of most likely the artifact, but... Oh, guys, shut up! <laughs> I'm trying to explain. Anyways, uh... Ooh, four mysterious serum, wow. Uh, yeah, this thing is, uh, really good. I don't need these, but... Well, actually, it'd be good for sometimes when I might need them. It's mostly good for a melee character, which I think I might have mentioned last year, but... <laughs> whatever. Anyways, so, he just doesn't seem like the best guy, and I think, obviously, there's, like, some weird artifact on his head, if you see. That's kind of, it seems like it's almost controlling him. So, I'm gonna side with Jack, and what Jack gives you is interesting. Think back on everything Oh, no, 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 no. Who do you think is the crazy one here? I listened to your supervillain speech. I believe it's you. And the last one. And what's, wait, oh, no. I thought that was the last one. This is the last one. I don't want to get any closer than this, because look at this, like, field around that. It's, it looks kind of scary. I'm not getting that close, but... Oh, no, Lorenzo. Get upon me here forever if you'd had your way, puny worm. Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? You're dead now. Goodbye, Father. All right, let's wait for this to go in because I want to get that hat. The the hat that made him crazy. But I mean, he did live. He was basically immortal, and you know, obviously, his serum is what made Jack and his family immortal too. So that's pretty cool. But let's. Can I get in now? Go for it. Yep. Okay, we're good in here. You're actually gonna want to come in here anyways. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you can't take his hat, but look at that. Look at... That's a weird artifact if I've ever seen one. I'll take a suit, though. And over here... Yes, there's a Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Perfect. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Well, <laughs> I mean, obviously, because I haven't played, but I don't think I've seen them in a while anyways. But it's been so long, and I only saw parts of my videos. I mean, the parts I could stand, at least. Anyways, let's talk to Jack, and I'll we'll go over that reward. 
Hey. We didn't have any other choice, did we? Um, you know what? Decide for yourself. It's not my place. You're gonna have to decide that for yourself. I know. He would have killed both of us, of course. And then the rest mm. of my family. And that would only have been the beginning. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. <laughs> Is he doing like an inner monologue thing where he's talking to himself now? Uh, okay, well, sorry for your loss. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Well, you know what? Thanks for everything. Great. Thanks. Well, oh, that sounded sarcastic, Raylan. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something. Now, this is what I'm talking about. See me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Now, that's very interesting. Now, when he says he says Cabot House, but he's a liar. <laughs> Uh, if I remember correctly, he stays here, and in, in in exactly a week, it is true, that it is a whole week of in-game time, he will have something for you, and it's pretty good. Now, if you decided to side with Lorenzo, it's actually kind of interesting, you would think he'd be super crazy, but, I mean, he is, okay, let's, let, let's be fair here, he is, but he will only kill Jack, then he'll go and kill his family, and then he just kind of chills out and doesn't seem to harm anybody else. Seem to is the key word. But if you side with him, he will give you he will keep you stocked up on the mysterious serum. So you can effectively have infinite mysterious serum. Now for a melee character, that is very, very good since it increases your strength by five. Now, for my character, it's nice. I mean, mysterious serum is always nice, but it's not necessary, so I'm okay with letting him die, honestly. Ah, okay, so we stepped out of the elevator. Ooh, wait. No wait. And this must have been stuff I dropped, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, desk fan. But uh, this is where Deegan was shot. Obviously, he's not here anymore because he got better or something. Uh, this is the terminal with the lore on it for people that were here in the asylum. Uh, that's some cool stuff, but I'm not really feel like going over it right now. Not that interesting. Uh, the bobblehead, if you're interested, was right here. The only way to get the charisma bobblehead is by doing the Cap House quest because the insane asylum is locked no matter what. So that's the only way to get in here. And it was worth it, for sure. I mean, I want to do this quest anyways. And obviously for the reward, we'll get in a week from Lorenzo. Now, I'm going to have to come back eventually and get the reward. Because, I, like I said, I think that he gives it here. I'm like 99% sure. But, yeah, I mean, hopefully he doesn't. But if not, it's not that big of a deal. Because what he had... Oh, hold on. This is Berserk Raider. This is uh, one of the ones that is like super strong and tough. But, uh, well, at least lore-wise, these guys actually aren't, weren't that bad, if I remember correctly. But yes, uh, what he has, I've never really paid much mind to it before, but with the way that my character is, it might be pretty interesting. Alright, outside of the asylum now, let's call our good friends from the Brotherhood, because I think it's time we finished up the stuff with the railroad, because I want to get cracking on stuff, it's been a long time, and I just want to start to get reacquainted with things, but I do remember at least I wanted to get that mission done with the railroad that I just did, and I think, I think... I'm not 100% positive, but there is one more tiny mission after that. And I will get the reward that I've been waiting for for so long. Oh, there we go. The good old brotherhood. It's been a while. Ad Victorian, brothers. Yes, and I know I had mentioned this previously in the other parts, but and I said I was going to lean brotherhood, but honestly, I think I'm just going to do a brotherhood one because, well, one, <laughs> nobody really seemed to care in the comments, which, you know, that's fine. So, some people just wanted to see the game and don't really care about the, uh, you know, the faction. Oh, hold on, I gotta choose a destination. Yes, back at my hangman's alley. Oh, it's gonna be so great to see it again after a whole year away. But, yes, as I was saying, um, I'd already done the Miniman quest, and I, I guess, finished it as well with the railroad, so, as you could say, like, two for one there. Uh... And I know it might fit in Raylan's character better to do the Minutemen, or the... Uh, it, it really depends, but the Minutemen questline isn't that interesting. It's mostly just lots of settlement stuff. And I've never done the Brotherhood questline, and I kind of just feel like doing the Brotherhood questline. I mean, not least because I get all these awesome signal grenades. 
But, yeah, I think that unless there's, like, you know, I actually see strong objections this time about, oh, no Brotherhood, then I'm going to stick with the Brotherhood for this run because I'm really interested in seeing how this all plays out. Oh, okay. Automatron, you son of a bitch. No, no, no. Ooh, I can still use that minigun. Oh, God. Well, here we have the Automatron robots as, uh, they are usually around. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go home. I'm a little bit homesick. Let's go with that excuse. Oh, here we go. Back at my beautiful hangman's out. Oh, frames. Okay, there we go. Ah, I missed this. Dog bulls. Dog bull? Dog. Dog bull. What? <laughs> dog meets dog bull clipping through the floor. Ah. I missed this. I really did, you know? The quirks of Fallout 4 are... I guess it's hard to hate, I guess is what you could say. Um, oh, did they... Oh, damn it. I, I think I will have to eventually fight them. Because now they got my settlers all riled up. And obviously the music too, but... Alright, let's kill them. Oh, what? Is this... A, okay, this has got to be... Oh, no, a settler. Oh, might be one of my settlers. Okay, this guy is... Weak. That's just critical. Let's save that settler. Ooh, 83 experience. Nice. Are we, are we all? Yeah, I think we're all. Yep, Just there goes the music. Trade a little. Of course. Um, I guess it's my settler because obviously I can take stuff from them, but I don't really want to. Ooh, Protectron front actuated frame. I picked up an Assaultron thing. I didn't really mention it because uh, I mean it's kind of basic, but this sounds really cool. I need to get around to doing this DLC soon. Probably because I'm starting to get kind of high leveled up, and I think the DLC starts spawning at level 15, and I know it's supposed to be hard. But I think I'm pretty ready to take the DLC, to be honest. At least, uh, <laughs> at least Automatron, I should say. But yes, now we're back here. Home sweet home. My man over here cooking up some drugs. Good work, sir. Let's go back into my thing and see if the cue ball is clipped through. Oh, no balls are here. It is ballless. Well, that's a shame. But yes, I just want to stop by here to take stock of a few things, grab some more supplies, put some stuff away, because I'm still carrying some legendary equipment that I'd found and, you know, hang up and display. And, um, yeah, I think, I guess I'll have to just go through that and kind of get myself reacquainted with everything because, uh, it's, it has been a while. So while putting away some of my magazines, I can't remember if I've shown this or not, and, uh, probably just include this anyways if I have, my bad, but I don't remember ever picking this up on camera, I should say, from what I had watched of the, of my previous videos, I don't remember ever showing this uh, Wasteland Survival Guide, I don't remember where I picked it up, but let's just say somewhere out in the wild while I was exploring, but I think this is the one that gives you flamingos and other lawn decorations, not 100% sure, I mean, I'm just guessing from the cover, but if that's the case, then, uh, that's another thing I picked up, which is cool. All right, after messing around with my inventory and getting a solid eight hours of sleep to drop a save, I think we're well on our way to head on over to the railroad. And is this safe? I think I've done this a few times before. Yep, that's safe. Now on the way there, I just wanted to address something really quick that uh, I don't know, you might or might not have noticed. Uh, if my voice sounds a little bit different, I, that's because I guess today I'm feeling a little bit hoarse. Um, I do want to hear some feedback on the audio though, because when, like I said, when I was listening to my older videos, it seemed like I had my gain up too high. And that's why sometimes there was a little bit of crackling I had noticed. But I don't know how it's going to sound now. And I would definitely give some feedback on that. But again, if you're, my voice does sound a little bit different just generally, that's because I'm just a little bit hoarse today. And also probably I'm just not used to uh, <laughs> talking like this over a game, you know. Got to make sure I'm uh, making, saying stuff while I'm doing that, you know, so, actually, you know, let's get into something, right, really quick while I'm going there. Talking while you're recording isn't as easy as it seems, and I've seen people, uh, I guess judge other YouTubers when they miss obvious things in games because they're talking, it's like, oh, how did you miss that, or how are you doing so bad? It's different, it really is, when you're commenting and playing at the same time, because you have to try to be engaging, 
as well as pay attention to what's going on, and obviously, you can't give 100% to both. So it's not the easiest thing- oh, frame rate. Yeah, so obviously it's not the easiest thing in the world, and I don't know, I just- maybe a little bit of pet peeve of mine, how I see some criticisms of that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's funny to- ooh, hello there, I'll take all this. Nope! Later, nerd! Okay, <laughs> I'm still in caution, I discovered Haymarket Mall. I thought I'd been by here. I was gonna say I thought I cleared out the raiders, no I did not. I probably had sniped off a few before, but let's keep going. I don't have a gun equipped, do I? There, okay, now it's equipped. I, I tried to quickly pull out a gun, and I guess I didn't have it equipped. Is this, is this a sneak? This, okay, no it's not. Um, I'll take that stuff. And we're just gonna keep going on our way, because I don't really have time for you guys right now. Alright, I'm back in the old North Church. Now it's time to go visit my good pals in the railroad. How do- okay. I was like, how do I access this? No, I remember now. Uh, okay, just gonna go down here, and uh, before I forget again, because obviously that running into all those people, the Rust Devils and the Raiders kind of spooked me, uh, yes, just to cap it off on the point I was making earlier, talking- and playing a game is not the easiest thing to do. I know it sounds like it would be simple. It's not the simplest. I mean, I'm not saying it's, you know, rocket science, but, you know, uh, don't give people so much shit if they miss easy things. And same thing with me, because even if I, like, I sometimes I'll miss some things or I'll see things and I'm editing, I'm like, how did I let that pass? Because obviously you're paying attention then, at least 100%. So that's really all I have to say on that matter. And uh, hopefully I never have to bring that up again. But I just kind of felt like, Getting that off my chest, I guess. Oop, drummer boy. He always runs up to you, I've noticed. And it's usually just something very banal that he has to say. Like, okay, well, fine, Carrington, you'll see me in like half a second. But I don't know why. Like, that's drummer boy's only job in this whole game is to stand about right here, run up to you when you're coming down, and says, hey, somebody needs something, something super simple. It's... I feel like they kind of wasted the potential. I mean, he's got a unique name and everything, but there's really nothing unique about him. But anyways, Pam. Human machine interface to one I think we've said heard this agent. before. Now. Ah, here, okay. data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. And that's what I did off screen. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. Yep, I, I noticed. Of a black ops Ooh, leveled up from that. Ooh, fringe 89, wow. Our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure level 36. the from any hostiles huh. in its vicinity. It's been so long, I forgot what level I was. But anyways, yes, it's just supposed to find a cache. Um, it's not uh, the most exciting thing, but it has the most exciting reward. A pre-war cache, huh? This will be interesting. Unable to process verbal response. The cache is hidden in compliance with tactical counter-surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. Sure. Got it. Agent's assessment is correct. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. Okay, here's the RFID device, which is what you need to find these caches. Now, please ruin Skyscraper. Oh, damn it. All right, where exactly is that? All right, so it's not too far from where I am. The only issue is that sometimes some of these railroad radiant quests, because I think this is a radiant quest. I mean, the first time you do it, it's important, but you, you get like plenty of caches it'll tell you to go to, but it says like ruin Skyscraper. Now, a lot of these are like through big maze-like buildings of getting lost and going all around, so I hope this isn't going to be a pain. I don't think I've ever had one here in the ruined skyscraper, but I know that I had one at uh, Hub360 or at least Amila, which was Tinker Tom's uh, radiant side quest for putting up cameras or something around the Freedom Trail, I don't know. But uh, the Hub360 is the most annoying place because it takes forever to where you, where you get to want to go. Well, it takes forever to get to where you want to go. And the quest marker for telling where to go seems broken, but I don't know if this place is going to be any better or worse. I highly doubt it would be worse, but for now, let's just level up. Alright, so looking through the skill tree and reacquainting myself with how I wanted to spec this character and where to go, 
There is nothing pressing that I want right now, but there is something that I will be able to get soon. And I'm going to do something that I don't think I have done before, which is I'm going to store this level up and use it when the thing that I want becomes available. And I can probably get a few ranks of it when it does become available, because I'm going to need a bobblehead. I'm not going to spoil what, which bobblehead I need for something, but I'll probably be doing that fairly soon. And it's going to get me an amazing perk that I really want, and I can will be able to take once I get the bobblehead. So, for now, just going to bank this level up and continue on doing this cache. Ooh, I think I know this place. Actually, wait, I really haven't discovered this? I've passed by multiple times, but... Yeah, some bodies of people I think I killed around here, but this is, uh... Faniel? Faniel? I, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Hall. But I had remembered that I had a mission for one of the Brotherhood. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's Reese, which means I'm gonna kill everything in here to clean this place out. Now, this place has got super mutants, and I need to get myself reacquainted with the game, so what better way than to charge headlong into a den of super mutants? Am I right? Okay, automatically I hear... Thang... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Scared me. Uh, you... Protectron. That Protectron Watcher. Okay. I don't need to worry about him for right now. Uh, I'm kind of scared, though. Uh, I don't remember this place that well. I've been in here before, but... Ooh. It's a Butcher. Well, this is working surprise. <laughs> I forgot how powerful I am as Raylan and how great this mode is with um, not not everything not being bullet sponges. So, <laughs> I also gotta remember that I am a very, very, very fragile man. Fortifying combat armor chest piece. Wee! <laughs> we got something good right out the gate. Okay. Uh, what do I have on my chest? Oh, I have the Steadfast uh, Brother of Steel Combat Armor chest piece, which I think I got from Captain Kells. Now, let's go back to the fortifying. It's a little bit weaker. It's not upgraded yet. But, I mean, the plus one strength and endurance as opposed to the damage, res uh, your damage resistance. What is it? Uh, I got Yeah, damage resistance. Energy and damage resistance. I'm sorry. Uh, increasing the lower your health is. That's good. I mean, it's not the best, but this... Is pretty is pretty damn good, and honestly, I prefer an extra point of strength and endurance. So I'm gonna put that on right now. I lose some carry capacity because I most likely had pocketed on this, but I'll take care of this more later. But now, first legendary, and I get something good. All right, hold on. Let's see. Oh, I thought I had a critical. I nope, I did not. Molotov. Oh, that didn't work out so well. Okay. We got this. Uh, that didn't work out as well as I hoped. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Run, 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 run. All right, Plasma Shoddy, it's your time to shine. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. that I love. Now, I'm gonna be careful because Super Mutants are known to just chuck Molotovs all willy-nilly. And that will end me in a very quick and painful way. Whoa, that guy scared me. I was just looting around before I went upstairs, and ooh, nice. He is now goo. Take the nuclear material. It's always nice that I have a weapon that can turn things into goo for nuclear material, but yes, now I'm gonna go up here. I just was looking around a little bit, that's all. <laughs> I'm feeling cocky, so you know what? Try me. Now, I remember this room here being a pain because there's two rooms higher up if I remember correctly and I think they can throw things down at you so oh there's a hound so I got to be very careful about that but for now oh it's a legendary huh well you know what can't say I didn't deserve it oh yes I forgot I didn't save since hangman's alley you know, I was actually thinking about that, too, in the railroad. I was like, you know, I should probably drop a save, but the Cockney's got the better of me. I'm like, what's the worst that could happen? Well, I got one-shotted by a glo legendary glowing hound, so I guess that answers my question. I just, okay, I gotta remember. It's been a year. Uh, yeah, I don't care about Grey Garden right now. But it's, it's been a whole year, and I need to remember that survival mode isn't a walk in the park, especially when you're this rusty. Wow, okay, so try to take out a legendary raider. Turns out he had a rocket launcher. Well, okay then. 
I uh, finally killed all the super mutants here. I've been taking my time, trying to make sure I actually did, but there's still a few left, and there's a legendary here. Well, another one. I killed one right here. Unfortunately, the one from earlier that I had gotten the uh, awesome chess piece from wasn't there, so. Cunning, metal right leg, agility, perception. Uh, agility is good, perception not so much. I'm bummed that I missed out on that chess piece, but that's what happens when you die. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna... Now that I'm done with that, I guess it was for County Crossing. I thought it was a Brotherhood mission, but I guess not. But anyways, I'm making my way up here because I just want to finish off this last legendary. Do I already disarm that? But this has been uh, very tense and reminded me why I miss this mode so much. I mean, it's challenging, but it's not completely unfair, and that's why I really love this mode. I'm so great. It's so great to be back. Ooh, up here too. I live in love. A companion, a companions permanently gain plus 10 health. <laughs> Can't say that's not unexpected. Now, I know that the legendary guy was in here, at least I thought he was. Where the hell is he? Wow, okay, here he is. I took this elevator up and I found him. Unfortunately, I was not ready for that. Oh, this is probably the end. This is probably the end. All right, back out and go back right into vats and critical. Oh, hoo -hoo. that was close. Okay, what do you got? Troubleshooters, metal left arm. I already have a troubleshooter's gear, but I don't mind building these up for Automatron because that's going to be very, very helpful for Automatron. Now that's over, let's get going. Oh, Raiders. All right, I'm back here, which... Uh, I was, you know, I didn't show it, but I had another Fallout 4 crash, which I think I've had more crashes recording than I ever did on my, uh, when I've played through this game before. Now, granted, it's only been, like, three tops. <gasps> three, maybe four, but, I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but still. It sucks in survival mode. Luckily, I had just making a save at Faneuil Hall right before I left, so I didn't really lose much progress. All right, I think we're good in this area now. All these gunners are taken out. And, by the way, I know... Ooh, Postal Square. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I might know this skyscraper, but... Yeah, now that we're here, can... I just take the minute that... To mention that when you're downtown, the frame rate is awful. Now, to reiterate, I'm playing on PS4, because I think when I'd initially gotten the game, I don't think I had a computer capable of running it better than the PS4. Now I do. Now my computer could run this much better without all this... Ooh, frame drops. So... Maybe if I ever consider doing Fallout 4 again in the future on the channel, then I might just break down and get the PSV. Eh, uh, PS. I almost said PSV. Jeez, what am I talking about? The Vita here? <laughs> no, the PC version when it's on sale someday, which. I mean, you know, mods. Well, I mean, they have mods on here, but I guess better mods and just the stability improvements, which I might be nice, but I don't know. We'll have to see on that. Ooh, wait, did I figure out? Uh, yeah, okay, ooh, this might actually work if I just go up this, uh, this fire escape here. And if I go all the way up, hopefully, well, no, actually, it says I have to go to a different loading zone. I was about to say, hopefully, I'm almost there, but, hey, oh, let's just hope. Ooh, already, and there's, already in here, and there's a legendary. Okay, one down and two down. Oh, nope, I lied. Ooh, got the first guy, though. Uh, use regular gunner. Put up the critical. Yeah, I'm just using two shot because I have plenty of ammo with two shot. And it's awesome, so might as well. Ooh, here's a legendary. Okay, this has got to take him out, right? Yes. Whew. Okay, I didn't want him to mutate on me, so I, I tried to plan my shots there. Now. Ho, 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 baby. Oh, my God. Just when I was praising the two-shot. <laughs> yes, this is lucky. This so makes up for me missing out on that chest piece earlier. It's just the two-shot, but better since it's not on a pipe pistol. I mean, granted, this thing has carried me a long way. And you know what? 
I respect it, but hot damn am I gonna get rid of this as soon as I get back to base and upgrade it in my new two-shot. Ah, okay, here's the cache. It just magically opens because of the RFID chip. Now, in the stash, there's not really anything too impressive. Just take the ammo. Uh, oh, tuxedo, nice. Uh, stealth boys are in here usually, but, you know, stealth boys suck badly in this game, so whatever. Uh, just take the ammo. Cry on mine, uh, I don't care, and to pipe this, I don't care. I'll leave them some of these things, but all you do is just basically discover it. So now I can go back to the railroad, and after this, I should be done with doing missions for the railroad for the foreseeable future, at least the main ones I wanted to get out of the way. All right, back here with Pam, and let's turn this in. A covert sweater vest, that's actually ties into what we're about to get in a second. I think we have to talk to Tinker Tom right now, now that we did that. Uh, yeah, I think we're done here. All right, well, let's just check out the sweater vest, because this is uh, gonna lead into what we're about to get. So the covert sweater vest is just a basically regular sweater vest, but it's got damage and energy resistance, which is unusual unless you're familiar with what the railroad does. So let's talk to Tom and let's see if we can get this sorted out. Shit, man. The cash you found has some real serious high tech. But the creme de la creme is ballistic polymer weed. Lightweight, serious stopping power. And it looks just like normal clothing. I got some in stock now. Oh, give me some time. I got all sorts of ideas. Now that's exactly what I've been wanting to do, and I'm sure people that have played this and gone through the railroad route know how important ballistic weave is. It is amazing, and I can't sing its praises enough. Let's, uh, let's see what he's got in stock, actually. Let's do you have any deliverer I mods? Because I still have the deliverer that I haven't really messed around with yet, and I don't know if I'm actually going to use it because my 10mm is really good with, uh, yeah, with the 10% more damage. How much is this? Yeah, you know what? I'll buy it and we'll see. It's not that much money. All right, so with that out of the way, I have been recording for almost two hours, and I used to be good at judging, you know, when I should cut off and when I shouldn't, but it's been so long, I'm not sure, and I have to cut a lot out of uh, me dying, and then obviously there was the crash, and just all sorts of stuff. So I don't know how long this episode's going to be, or if it's going to be long, short, whatever, and I know that I didn't really do too much. I mean, we got some stuff done, but... Uh, a lot of this was rambling, kind of getting back to remembering how I used to do these videos, because it has been a whole year, and it's going to be weird to get back into the habit of it, but honestly, I'm enjoying it right now, and it's good to be back with Raylan, it really is. So, anyways, next time on Fallout 4 Survival Mode, I am going to go back to my settlement and mess around with some mods, including the Ballistic Weave, and I'll show people why it's so important. And then, after that, I'm going to do something I've been meaning to do for a while, which is the castle. So, that'll be in the next episode. I'll see you guys then.